Intense shelling and gunfire heard around Kiev on Wednesday. Russia is still struggling to take over the capital city nearly a month after fighting broke out. Ukrainian forces are putting up strong resistance and retaking key suburbs outside of Kyiv. NATO estimates up to 15,000 Russian soldiers have been killed in four weeks of war. A U.S. senior defense official says troops are facing declining morale due to a lack of food, fuel and cold weather gear. Western leaders are concerned what Moscow will do next if the offensive stalls out. Nuclear options are on the table, kinetic strikes are on the table, military manning on the ground is on the table. Everything's on the table. The port city of Mariupol continues to see the worst of the fighting. Some 100,000 people are trapped there with no food, water or medicine. Ukrainian officials say attempts to deliver aid have been cut off. Those who managed to escape the city headed to western Ukraine and say they were lucky to get out. People don't have water. They drink water that's not even the water you would use for technical purposes. There is no one you can ask for help. Today, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky spoke with French lawmakers and appealed to Japan's parliament for more help in the form of sanctions. We need a strong message that cannot break peace. Responsible nations must work together to protect peace.